Good morning. It is 9.18 a.m. on Saturday, July 9th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So I'm feeling a little better than yesterday. Obviously, there's still some unpleasant news stories going on around, but um, at least uh, in the, the Christiana sphere, um, I'm feeling better. Um, Luna's upset tummy seems to have not completely gone away. Uh, she's, she's got a couple spots where she kind of keeps going and like throwing up just a little bit. Um, but she's not throwing up her whole kibble and she still has an appetite and she seems to have energy other than the times when she's throwing up a little bit. So not 100% sure what's going on there. I'm going to continue to observe in any case, though, uh, what I have today is a very special thing. I haven't talked about my arrow garden recently. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look over, I can't, I'm trying to point. There we go. Right there, that light is coming from my arrow garden. The most recent seed pod is jalapenos and cherry tomatoes. Uh, but there was some sort of a mishap perhaps uh, combined with uh, when I went out of town that uh, there was a, a period where I think the water pump wasn't working and uh, both, all the plants got pretty rough and uh, the jalapeno plants definitely just died. And so I had to take them out. But the cherry tomato plants have been recovering pretty well. Um, I had to get in there with some aggressive pruning. Um, but... Da, 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 da. This is the very first one that's ripe, although there's a bunch more green ones on there. You know, it's kind of satisfying. I mean, obviously, it's not hard to find cherry tomatoes, uh, you know, at the store. But, uh, you know, I grew this one with the assistance of technology. Hydroponics. I'm going to eat it now. Twist. It's like pulling the pin on a grenade. All right. Got to get out of the way. I, my, my grenade analogy has failed almost immediately. Put it in your mouth right now. Ooh. That is really good interesting just because you know the cherry tomatoes I'm much more accustomed to eating are the ones that you would buy in the grocery store in a big old pack right the flavor is definitely different and good I mean it's very juicy yeah and kind of a feel like a lighter flavor I don't know. It's hard to describe flavors in non-flavor speak. But it's good. I am anticipating having a lot more of those. Um, it's not super easy to have the video over by the Aero Garden or else I would uh, show it to you. But I will post a picture of what the Aero Garden looks like now on Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you follow me. And, uh, you know, so that's that's good. So... On the agenda today is not much. I'm gonna hang out, play some video games. Uh, I got halfway through Inside, which is a recent PC game to come out, um, made by the same people who did Limbo. So it's kind of just a light puzzles, 2D scroller sort of thing, but it's super atmospheric and creepy. Um, and it's just, it's really great. So uh, I recommend checking that one out. And then also as a little capsule movie review, uh, I watched 10 Cloverfield Lane last night, which was also very good. It was, um, I mean, it's not weighty. You know, it's like it's really just popcorn entertainment. There's not really, I think, any larger like message or importance going on there but you know hey it's a movie where some exciting and suspenseful things happen yay 
it still was good. Uh, you know, just as an exercise in genre filmmaking, I approve. So I'll leave it there then, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.